Well, these vent-free heaters do need to be serviced in the fall before you start using them. It's a real simple process. Dust can collect on the inside of them as well as the thermocoupler needs to be cleaned. Thermocoupler will get carbon and soot on it, but it's a real simple process to take care of. And here we go, we'll dive right into it now. Now, before you start, make sure the gas line is off. If it's at a right angle to the gas line, that's off. Now, the reason that we're going to clean the thermocoupler on this heater is this is preventative maintenance. Because what will happen if the carbon builds up on the thermocoupler, it'll go out. And odds are it'll go out, your, your pilot light will go out in the middle of the night when it's very cold. And once this goes out, your temperature will plummet in temperature. And it'll, it actually could get below freezing. You could lose everything in your greenhouse. Now, if you've got one of these heaters in your house, that's a different matter. If it were to go out, you can just, uh, just clean it and, and relight it. But in a greenhouse, it's extremely vital that they don't go out, especially in the middle of the night during sub-freezing temperatures. Now the first thing that we're going to do on here is there's some screws along the, the edges and we're going to remove those. And here's the first things here. There's screws along the sides. We're going to loosen those. So we've got the screws on the side removed. Just need to pop it loose here. There we go. In all the years that I've been using these heaters, I've had one failure and it was due to the thermocoupler. What happened one morning I got up and uh, checked my remote thermometers and the greenhouse was at 38 degrees. The thermocoupler, some carbon had built up on there. It shut the heater off. Fortunately, I was able to catch it. At the point, I didn't know to look for that. Didn't I didn't know that that could be an issue. Since then, every fall, couple weeks before I start moving the plants in the greenhouse, I'll clean the inside of the heater and clean the thermocoupler. Ever since I've done that, I've never had any issues whatsoever. And this is a close-up here. This is where the gas comes out there. This is the igniter. And this is your thermocoupler right here. This is what you need to clean. When this heater is not in use in the summer, as well as, as when it is in use, it collects a lot of dust in there. So the first thing that I do after pulling the front off is I take this shop vac and I vacuum out all the dust in there. And pay particular attention to this area right here and right in this region. This is what you need to clean it with, just some steel wool. And just come right along the thermocoupler. Be, be gentle. Any soot, any carbon that's built up on there. And after I do that, I come back with the vacuum cleaner.
All right, got it all put back together now. You should be good to go. Uh, this is just something that uh, if you'll do every fall before you move your plants in, they don't have to worry about having an issue with a heater on some cold sub freezing night. But uh, it's pretty simple. A few minutes, few minutes of work save a lot of heartache. Have a great day. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you learned anything, click like. And if you'll subscribe, we're going to be having a lot of videos on greenhouses and plants. Thank you.